1945. My great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, It's that war, war never changes. All right, here we go. Quite the introduction. Welcome to episode one of my Fallout 4 Let's Play. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Uh, figured with the release of the Fallout TV show just yesterday, I would uh, go ahead and do a, another playthrough of the game and give you guys uh, something, to, something else to watch along with it. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into my character creation. I'll probably fast forward or skip through that because, you know, that's not so fun to watch. Um, and then we'll jump right in. So if you guys give me just a moment, I'll be right back. All right, cool. I think that's good enough. Kind of came out looking a little bit like uh, Elder Maxon. And if you haven't played Fallout 4, you don't know who that is, but you might end up finding out eventually. Um, wasn't necessarily the look I was going for. I was trying to do like Alex Mason or Frank Woods from Black Ops 1. Or uh, not Black Ops 1, sorry. Well, yeah, well, any of the Black Ops games, really. But... Uh, Failed at that, but anyways, confirm. All right, cool. Codsworth flying by. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Room to perfection. Ah, thank you. Today's newspaper just delivered. Awesome. Take a sip of our coffee real quick. Check grognack out the grognack. In the jungle of the bat babies. My favorite. We'll end up collecti collecting a lot of those throughout this series, I'm sure. Our beautiful wife, Nora. Huh? Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's going to love the speech. So yeah, as it said, this game starts off in 2077. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Can you get that? And here's the vault tech rep. That salesman. He comes for you every day. What does this guy want? Good morning, vault tech calling. All right, we'll go with the simple answer. I suppose. Say good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. 
You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Very enthusiastic slash scared he seems. What's the urgency? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll it, excuse it my sure language, has. the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell it now? you... That because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. This dude's making Vault 111 sound like it's so amazing. Let's just go with, uh... I guess, is there enough space for all of us? there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Miner's your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. All right. Simple answer. I'm just going to say yes, because it's probably going to direct me in that direction anyways. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Not that I wouldn't Splendid. know since I've never played this game before. Uh, let's see. All right, so like I said, I was trying to go in with like Alex Mason slash Frank Woods. So let's name him. Let's see. We'll name him uh, Alex Woods. Even though he looks like nothing like either of them. All right, so... Jumping into perk allocation, so I'll bump his strength up to four, three or four. I don't really use melees that much, and the only thing that I really care about in strength down at the higher levels is going to be strong back, and I think you get that out of there either five or six. So I'll bump this up to three, and then maybe when I use the uh, I'm Special book, I'll... Uh, I'll bump that up to four. Anyways, all right, so I'll do three at that for now. I'll bump my luck up to seven because I want to be able to use uh, Idiot Savant. So actually, I only need that at six for Idiot Savant. Intelligence will be four. Charisma, that's talking to people. I do care about that at times, but... That's not as important to me. So, let's see. I'm going to use rifles probably. Rifles and pistols primarily. In the beginning, mainly pistols are going to be the most accessible. So, I'll bump this up to four. Let's see, four, four and four here and then what do I want to do with these last two overall health that's five all right and then I'll do charisma at two I'm not really gonna go uh, so if you don't know about this game um, there's four major factions so you've got the Brotherhood of Steel, you've got the Railroad, you've got the Minuteman, and you've got the Institute. Um, I have played this game multiple times before. Um, I've sided with the Brotherhood of Steel, and I've sided with the Railroad. And on another character that I haven't recorded, um, I started a Minuteman playthrough. Um, I believe with this character, I think I'm going to kind of go down the route of uh, the Institute. So with that being said... I don't necessarily care too, too much about my charisma. Uh, that's mainly for settlement building, I would say, and obviously any speech checks where um, you have 
choices and levels to it that'll affect that as well but i mean if if i want to like take chems to bump that up or something momentarily i can do that as well so anyways moving forward i think this is this is a decent setup let me know in the comments what you guys think and what your builds are typically like and what you like to favor in and, and what your reasons might be for that but uh, i really like luck builds with um emphasis on luck but you know also still uh, perception i believe it is uh, so i can get rifle rifle perks because i love using rifles and pistols primarily all right moving forward wonderful that's everything uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault congratulations on being prepared for the future um all right buddy you do that again. hey yeah it's thank you very much that's worth a little paperwork right for you and sean no price is too high <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Don't we all? Mr. Alex, Don't Sean we all. has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. Mr. Alex, he called me. I heard Codsworth. Go on. It's funny because you can put in some stupid names uh, for your character and he'll pretty much say anything. I've seen a bunch of videos on it. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. How cute our little Sean is. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park. Such a peaceful and perfect How family, you know aren't you? Yeah, sounds like fun. Sounds like nothing could ruin Godfrey? this perfect What's day. Wrong? Until now. Followed by yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and In New York? My god. Oh my god. We, we need to get to the vault. Oh. Now! Good thing we just talked to the vault tech uh, representative like five minutes ago. If you are registered, evacuate to vault 111 immediately. Taking all the beauty now while it's here, cause uh, sounds like it's not gonna last forever. So if you don't already know, this game takes place in Boston, Massachusetts. Obviously, a modified version of it, in a retro, futuristic take, I'd say. All tech rep got turned away. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Good luck, ma'am. You two God follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're doing the gate? Everything we can. Let's now not worry about moving. them. Let's worry about ourselves. Because <laughs> we, we are the future now. Step on the platform in the center. What's the worst that could happen, right? Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! to the vault. Sorry, I'm being a little more quiet right now so you guys can just take we everything in that's happening and then I'll do a little bit more talking once uh okay. once some of the dialogue has settled down a bit. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry folks. But we are now indeed we'll in the vault. In your new home. Our new vault home, Vault 111. 111. <laughs> 
better future. I said it first. So we just yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later. No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs. We and are safe. The door there. I love the detail of these vaults for when this game came out. It's just so cool to me. Okay, welcome. Pick up a suit right over there. Just step over to the table. Even now, this game is one of the better, in my opinion, when it comes to graphics and story playthrough. Uh, thanks. What now? Obviously, Bethesda's known for some stiff face actors, uh, but that does not mean that their stories are ever lackluster. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. Oh, you're gonna love it. So many little intricate details that, that really make this what it is. Not the others aren't great, mind you. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Let's do it. Don't you think? Just Vault checking everyone off the list as they come in. As people as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. <laughs> we have absolutely no idea Just what we're getting ourselves into. Put your vault suit on. Shh. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. See? Honey. Could you help me? Yes, ma'am. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. We'll do Vault Tech Doctor. I'll willingly jump into this pod and have absolutely no idea what I'm getting myself into. God will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the fall. Just relax. <sighs> Is that all it'll do? Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four. All right, here we go, cryostasis. This is where the fun begins. So it looks like they're uh, opening up my wife's chamber now. I'm going to try to my best to walk through this as if I haven't played it before and uh, not spoil anything when it comes to story stuff and uh, yeah, keep it all secret because it's fun just in case uh, new viewers haven't actually played through on their own and want a fresh, fresh take. So whoever that man is, looks like he just killed my wife and they're now kidnapping my baby. And I'm the backup. Backup to what exactly? I have absolutely no idea. Finally being let out. Let's get it. So who knows how long it's been since since uh, I had woken up last and those events happened and I saw that person. Come on, come on, come on! 
Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever played uh, Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas. I haven't actually played Fallout New Vegas, but I do hope to do a series for that as well. But uh, from my understanding, Fallout 3, you know, you're a child whose father leaves the vault and you're set out to go find him and figure out why he left and what it is that he's doing to uh, save the city that they're in at that time. And then from my understanding, in New Vegas, um, <coughs> correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe you play as a character who is shot in the head, and then you're set out to figure out who that person is, basically, that tried to murder you. And then in this one, in Fallout 4, you're a ex-military man, retired military man, who got lucky with his family and got accepted into this vault under this company named vault tech who they obviously didn't know much about since they were like well what's this whole vault tech thing why why is it set up what's gonna happen um, but anyways this one basically you're set up in this uh, vault with your family your wife's murdered and your son's kidnapped and you have to figure out why he was kidnapped Starting off strong. So like I was trying to say earlier, um, I actually just started watching the Fallout, the new Fallout TV series, so I also wanted to start a new playthrough because, you know, I know a lot of people are going to be excited around that, and I am as well myself, and uh, I thought it was actually pretty good the first, uh, the first two episodes I watched yesterday. I know it was getting a lot of hate at times for, you know... The, the lead actor, but um, I am not really one to hate being a huge fan of the series. I, like I said, I personally thought they were uh, they were pretty solid, pretty solid first two episodes. I won't go too in depth into what I saw because again, I don't want to make any spoilers for anything. But uh, yeah, it was definitely good. All right, so. At this time, I would say it's probably pretty good to just go what ahead and here? collect everything that we see. That's usually how I start these off. And pause actually real quick. I want to make sure, yes. I want to play this on very hard difficulty. I'm not going to do survival. I'm not at that level quite yet, but uh, my last playthrough I played through on hard. So I'm going to try to give myself a bit of a harder challenge and they're on the very hard at, at the minimum. Alright, cool. So here we go. Our very first weapon. Our first introduction to some stim packs. And Is more dead bodies. Left? And now four playthroughs of this game. Obviously my third I haven't completed all the way yet. But uh, in four playthroughs of this game, I've never actually come back for this cry later I don't know I don't know I don't know why but maybe I'll uh maybe I'll do that this time in this one let me know what you guys think do, do you use the cry later is it is it any good is it worth it and even all right cool next step is to be nosy And open the evac tunnel. All of these terminals are so cool. They have so much information and lore on them. It's insane. I don't read through everything all the time, but I do like to to read through some of the stories because they can be they can actually be pretty uh pretty good and interesting. Funny even sometimes. Oh, how did I miss that? We gotta conserve ammo the best we can right now. Try not to miss. Oh shit. Alright. I'm gonna collect. 
collect all of this. Get as much foods as we can. Oh, because even if I'm not on survival, it's still good for healing up early on. What? How did that one shot miss? That's insane. But yeah, like I was saying, anyways, uh, it's hard to find medical supplies pretty early on, so collecting food and cooking it up, even though maybe the rads will still be, uh, even though it'll still give you rads, it's on the lower end, and eh, it'll heal you up pretty decently. Positives and negatives, you gotta make some sacrifices sometimes, and for that, I am willing. Hopefully we find that out soon, Mr. Alex. Hopefully we find that out soon. Okay. Oh god. Oh crap, forgot about that one. And now we have got our very own Pit Boy device. Pip boy. Pip boy. Scrubby, scrubby off that screen a little bit. This is going to be our best friend now, pretty much. All right. Plenty of rad roach meat right now. Alright, right now we're just trying to exit. Get up out of this place, figure out what's going on, where we're at in life. How long it's been. Such a huge fan of the uh, the music the soundtracks that they used in this game. It's just so peaceful and so fitting for the the vibe that they were trying to go for. I know a lot of people tend to use mods to skip this whole sequence and do you know, a, a revised introduction to the game. However, a, a lot of the playthroughs that I've been doing for this game, or any videos that I've uh, uploaded to my YouTube channel prior, um, have been vanilla with no mods, and I'd like to kind of stick to that, because uh, I think this game is fantastic, even as it stands without any alterations to it. Um, Maybe if you guys end up wanting to see like a modded playthrough with you know additional quests or whatnot, uh, again let me know down in the comments, and maybe I will do that. But as of right now, I'm going to do a Fallout 4 playthrough, and then I think I'm also going to do a Fallout New Vegas playthrough uh, if this gets good feedback. All right, sweet. So before we go out, do we want to make any changes? Nope. My name is going to be what was it again? Alex Woods. I think my perks are pretty solid. I'm good with my appearance, and we'll go ahead and exit now. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech.